Welcome to a very special edition of Rusty Responds, celebrating all of you wonderful viewers helping me reach 200,000 subscribers here on YouTube. I received an enormous amount of questions, so I broke down these Q&A videos into two parts. This is part one, where I'll be answering only questions pertaining to the knife game. So if you're a knife game song fan, then keep watching. And for all other questions, make sure to stay tuned for part two, coming soon. Okay, let's just start this off with the most asked question ever. What kind of knife do you have? In the Knife Game Song videos, I use a Smith & Wesson HRT tactical boot knife that I bought off Amazon. I made a whole video about it, so watch it. Someone asked, are you the originator of the Knife Game Song? If so, how did you come up with it? Well, I'm not the originator of Five Finger Filet. The game itself goes back too far to find the original creator, but I am the creator of the song that goes along with it. I used to get drunk and play Five Finger Filet at parties, so one day around 2011, I figured I'd write a happy sounding jingle to sing while playing and record a video for my YouTube channel. Ever since then, the internet has just not let me forget about it. Faltum1 asks, What initially got you into Five Finger Filet, and how long have you been doing it for? The first time that I saw Five Finger Filet was whenever I was a young kid, and my mother's boyfriend at the time was drunk and started trying to play it on a hotel table. Later on, I saw it again when the android Bishop did it in the movie Aliens. But I've only been playing Five Finger Filet for about six years or so. And to be honest, I don't play in my free time, only whenever I'm practicing for a video. Super Smart 001 asks, What did got you to knife flipping? I started knife flipping around a year and a half ago because of the abundant and never-ending demand for more new knife games. The only reason why I ever started doing it was to prepare for my knife flip video. But the real daredevils here are the people who juggle multiple knives. And I don't plan on doing that, so don't ask. Awkward Raccoon wonders, Do you still have all your fingers? Yes. Nukem HD asks, What did your parents think of you playing the knife game? At first they seemed a bit concerned, I think mainly because they had higher expectations for their son besides playing with knives on the internet. But nowadays they don't seem to care as much. Specky asks, Would you rather do the knife game on a Got Talent show or do the knife game in front of your family? Well, surprise, surprise, I've already done both. I was contacted to perform the knife game on America's Got Talent, and I flew all the way to LA to do the act in front of the celebrity judges. But I guess the producers didn't care much for my audition because they cut it out of the show. So there's no viewable footage of my performance on AGT. I plan on making a video telling the full story, so stay tuned for that. DJ Pops 88 asks, Can I use a stylus for the knife game? No, the only way is with a knife. For fuck's sake, I even wrote it into the song lyrics. <laughs> Greg Weller asks, How many knives are in your collection? I have four main knives that I use. Two Smith & Wessons, one of which I scraped the black coat off so it shows up on camera better. One Morik knife, which I use for Bushmen camping purposes. And of course, a Wooshtoff chef knife for cooking. But I have a pretty good collection of smaller knives laying around as well. I don't know how many. Steven Rogers the Orca inquires, How long did it take you to master the knife game? Oh, I don't know. About a week? It's fucking easy. I don't know what all the hype is about. Nathan asks, What is your favorite type of knife? Or any weapon? Uh, probably just a sturdy, practical Bushman knife. I don't really have a favorite knife or weapon. Though I am fond of classic six-shot revolvers. Untouchable asks, Can you play the knife game with your toes? I don't have toes, so no. Japan Anime Weather asks, How fast can you play the knife game for 60 seconds? I have no idea, I've never tried. I would guess mm, a little over 9,000 hits. That might be a little bit of a generous estimate. Green Moose asks, How can I get good at the knife game song? Honestly, just take the time to learn the lyrics. Get over your fear of cutting your hand, and then just keep practicing. Start slow and progressively work your way faster. It's five finger filet, not fucking rocket science. But the real trick to getting good at the knife game is to simply sell your soul to the Lord of Knives and let him bless you with the powers of the blade. That's what I did anyways. Raisin Brand Man asks, What is the worst cut you got from any knife game? Well, I haven't had any bad cuts from the knife game particularly, just a few small cuts here and there. But I did once get a pretty gnarly cut on the first knuckle of my left index finger. I was drunk and trying to cut a lime with a dull knife. But since I was holding the lime like a moron, the knife slipped and left a nasty slice. My advice? Never cut limes. Someone asked, How many times have you failed at the knife game? 
asking for a friend. Hundreds of times. There are several small scars on my hand to prove it. And don't lie, you don't have any friends. Someone else asked, Would you ever consider a live stream of knife game between you and a challenger? Maybe once every few months? Also, ever consider Russian roulette? I wouldn't want to do a live stream for that because that would mean I'd have to waste more of my time playing five finger fillet. I have no interest in trying to prove that I'm the greatest knife game player because I already know I'm the greatest knife game player ever. But yeah, I'd play Russian roulette, but for no less than $100,000 around. Ramdum X Gaming asks, Can you do the knife game but with a different person? Like you sing the song and you the knife, but you using their hand. I've considered making a video doing this on my girlfriend's hand. If I can ever convince her to let me do it, I'll upload a video. In the meantime, check out this video by the Tinderbox Circus Sideshow, where they play the knife game on each other's hands. It's pretty cool. Sophie O'Valley asks, Do you want kids to do the knife song game, knowing that they have the probability of cutting their fingers or getting psycho and kill anyone? Yeah, why not? The worst that can happen are just a few minor cuts on their hands, and kids these days need more dangerous activities to do so that they don't grow up to be soft, weak, and scared adults. And if they kill someone, that's none of my business. Blame that damned rock and roll music for that. Roblox, the face of R2D, asks, Will there be Knife Game World Part 2? Hopefully one day. It took several months to get enough good submissions to even make the first one, but everyone seems to like it. So whenever I come up with a new song idea, then yeah, maybe I'll start collecting new submissions. But probably not anytime soon. Who knows, maybe. Niceplex Niceplex asks, Do you think that there will ever be a knife game revolution? Yes. Yes, I do. Brothers, sisters, non-binary sexless bastard siblings, unite, for the revolution is coming. Raise your knives into the air, run to your windows, lean out and yell to all who will listen. Scream it loud. I'm insane as hell. And I love the knife game song. Seton Gamer asks, Are you a little upset that the knife game song went viral but you didn't get much credit or insanely boost in subs? Quite the contrary, Seaton Gamer. When the Knife Game song first went viral, I only had about 2,000 subscribers. But after about a month, I was closer to 50,000. So to me, that was a huge boost that really helped get my channel going. As for credit, is there any question at this point who made the Knife Game song? Even Wikipedia has me noted as the creator. BVCG asks, What was the hardest Knife Game song? The hardest Knife Game song was definitely the Knife Flip. That took me about two weeks and millions of tries before I was able to perform it even once without fucking up. And my hand after the video was quite bloody and bruised. Next to that, probably the two-handed knife song. I need a lot more practice tossing the knife between my hands because it's very common to catch it in a bad spot. But definitely the knife flip song. The Teeter inquires, What do you think of the butterfly knife tricks? I guess they're kinda cool looking. I used to have a friend who was good at them back whenever I was a kid, but I never got into them myself. I don't have the motivation or attention to learn those tricks. 57 Kirby asks, Besides the knife game songs, what song do you think is very dangerous for kids? Other songs dangerous for kids? Hmm, I guess I would have to say the jump off the trampoline and land on your neck song. Jump off the trampoline and land on your neck. Jump off the trampoline and land on your neck. Jump off the trampoline and land on your neck. Jump off the trampoline and land on your neck. Antonio Pless asks, How many more knife game songs are you going to do? Well, it's hard to say. Knife game songs aren't really my main priority, and I just kind of make them whenever I get a new idea for one I want to do. Could be none, could be a thousand. So you'll all just have to wait and see. Someone asks, What are your actual thoughts on the knife game, and that there are still people who love and play it? The truth is, I made the knife game song because I like making crazy videos with dark and insane themes. I love writing songs and consider that to be my main passion at the moment. So the knife game song seemed like a great idea. However, I was never expecting that it would become as popular as it did, bringing in viewers who saw me more as a stuntman or a daredevil rather than a musician and an artist. So now it seems that a good portion of my subscribers only expect and want to see me do more knife game stunts leaving them disappointed and unsatisfied whenever I post a video about anything else. They flock to my channel in numbers, watch my songs and other videos, and downvote them, always commenting about how they thought I was a nice person who loved God and loved knives. It's like they created this false perception of who I was in their puny young brains, only to find out that I was nothing like the person they thought I was. The Knife Game song is just a silly video I made years ago. And yes, it has proven to be very successful, but it isn't going to change who I am and what I want to do, which is to entertain anyone I want in any way I find to be artistically gratifying. 
and not limit myself to entertaining eager knife game song lovers. Because in reality, most of the people who still enjoy playing the knife game are young children with little to no understanding of the world, and little understanding of the people who they think they admire online. Not all of them, of course. There are a lot of you out there who love the knife game and are cool as fuck, but I don't like kids. I find them to be annoying brats for the most part. So to find myself with a huge audience of young kids who only know me from one video I made years ago performing a stupid parlor trick with a knife is unsettling. I don't think the audience that the Knife Game song brings in is an audience that will appreciate 90% of the video content that I produce. Instead, it will disturb and anger their fragile young minds, leaving them with no other option but to comment on all my videos things like, More Knife Game, please! More knife games. More knife games. More knife games. For fuck's sake, how many possible ways can you play with a knife? How long before people stop calling me Rusty Cage and just refer to me solely as the knife game guy? See, that won't happen on my watch. I'll make as many knife game videos as I please, and whenever I please, which won't be often. And if anyone asks for more, there's a good chance that I'll tell you to fuck off. Because it would be a blessing to filter down my subscribers to those who enjoy all the other content that I put out. I know those subscribers are out there. And so to you all, I give you my ultimate thanks for all the support you've given me. All those who like my videos on the offensive words you can't say, or how to pick a lock, or even my song, There Isn't Any God. All of you are the true fans, because you all understand the humor and the insanity of the videos on this channel. And sure, I may not always post top-notch videos, but I post videos that I enjoy making. Sometimes they're knife game songs, sometimes they're not. But either way, I'm going to make the videos how I want to make them, and see what happens. So for everyone new to this channel, my name is Rusty Cage, and I'm a fucking asshole. And don't forget to buy a t-shirt. Unsubbed. Lydia asks, Why are you doing this dangerous shit? This is my question. Please answer. Well, Lydia, the answer is simple. Because it's so damn fun. More knife games, please! Jump off the trampoline and land on your neck. Jump off the trampoline and land on your neck. Jump off the trampoline and land on your neck. Jump off the trampoline and land on your neck.